Down in southwest Georgia, it's time for some fresh broccoli, and operations like this one, Hartco Farms, are hard at work in the fields harvesting this year's crop. It's been a season full of hard work, but it's certainly paid off as they've grown a good quality crop they're certainly proud of. I'd say at this point our yields are above average. Um, we've really had a good growing season on this broccoli. Uh, had it in years past, you know, where that thing probably got too cold, didn't quite get a big enough frame on it to produce quite the yield that we need. Uh, but, I, but I would say at this point right now, we've had as good of a growing season as we could have had. Even though Sellers says they had a great growing season, that doesn't mean it was an easy one. As Sellers says broccoli is a tough crop to grow, one that requires a lot of attention, especially when having to deal with the unpredictability of Mother Nature. Broccoli is a very temperamental plant in South Georgia as our seasons vary. A lot of heat and humidity in South Georgia. The growing season in the spring can vary from 60 to 90 days. The biggest thing with broccoli is the harvest interval. Whenever that thing gets ready, you've got to cut it. So some of that broccoli will end up cutting four times. Uh, we have cut it five in instances. Seller says one big factor when growing produce like broccoli is water and the availability to it. As Seller says, there are times when, if they didn't have irrigation, they wouldn't be able to grow a crop. Our seasons, the way they are in South Georgia, you could be watering that broccoli four times a week or you could be watering it one. Um, all depends on climate. We've tried soil moisture sensors in the past. Those things really, uh, they're not as accurate as they would need to be in this instance just because a lot of times we're watering that broccoli for maintenance, for maintenance to keep that plant from stressing. Um, you know, and our soil moisture conditions could be high at that point, but that plant could be wilted because it's under heat and a lot of stress. So we'll use that water to ease the stress on the plant and to make it continue to produce a viable product. According to sellers, the biggest factor they've faced the last couple of years, however, is not weather related at all. It's the cost of much needed inputs that continue to rise when commodity prices remain stagnant. Inputs absolutely are probably one of the biggest challenges we face. Fertilizer being number one in the last two years, uh, I use a lot of rainbow homogenized fertilizer and that stuff's up 300 bucks a ton what it was two years ago. Uh, nitrogen, same deal, I mean, uh, all, right across the board, inputs in general are up. The problem we as producers face is the product we're selling has not increased at the same pace as the, the product we're buying. Uh, we're, we're wholesaling and buying at retail. Reporting in Moultrie for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.